morning we're heading off to Bohemians Football Club. Not because there's a game on, but because I like going to walk to random stadiums. And we are in the beautiful city of Prague, so uh, Bohemians isn't too far away. We are still in lockdown, so um, it's something we can do. We can walk. So we tested out this walk the other day. And pretty much whenever we've been on holiday over the years, we've ended up at some random football stadiums. And again, not really to go and watch a game, but because I like random football stadiums. And actually, the shitter the better. <laughs> because I quite like the really small clubs, the ones that nobody knows about, nobody hears about. But if you are into your European football, you'll probably know Bohemians. And so this is the love of a walk down to the Bohemians ground, where eventually we'll catch up with the Botic, which, oh, there's a river or a stream. It's probably a bit too big for a stream. Probably more of a river. Uh, this is the lovely area of Kacharov that you can see around here. And not too far away from where we actually live. But as you can see, it's beautiful, stunning, stunning area, one of the nicest parts of Prague. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. Actually, where we live, it's beautiful. And, you know, you've got these kind of what, what we'd call council housing in the UK, but I don't think it really is here. It's relatively inexpensive housing, and because the salaries are not mega high in the Czech Republic, then people have got to find relatively inexpensive places to live. So we're kind of on, I think the road to Budjavitska, and then we're going to turn right down here at the moment and uh, catch up with the Botic stream or river at the bottom of this hill. It's quite a nice walk ending up in Michle. And then we follow the Botic and it takes us all the way to Bohemians. It is quite cold, you can see the snow. Although well, I woke up this morning, everything was white. I know. It's now getting closer to sort of midday and it's not actually warmed up that much, but it's done enough to get rid of what snow there was. We've been lucky actually. We arrived in Prague in August last year. And it was a beautiful summer, the end of the summer. And then we've had quite a nice a nice winter as well in terms of quite a lot of snow, if you like snow. I quite like snow. It's bloody cold, but I quite like it because it looks nice. And that's it really. That's probably all I've got to say about snow. So the whole walk takes about an hour, but I'm not going to record the whole thing. I'm just going to show you some of the beautiful sights. This is again Kacharov, and there's the local Potravini, and another housing estate, which are all worth looking at if you want to come to Prague. I recommend this area. That's doing a disservice again, you know. The people that live there are probably lovely. They are generally lovely, although the Czechs in general are lovely people. They are. Apart from the ones that work in our local Potravini, <laughs> who are the most miserable women I think I've ever met. I don't think that's because they're Czech. They're just miserable women. I think women. they're just miserable women. Yeah. Yeah. Another beautiful Czech building, another piece of amazing architecture. A feast for the eyes, that one. It's been well kept as well. Yeah, been well looked after. Uh, so we're still in Kacharov sort of area. Still in Prague 4. Not too far, really, from where we're based. But we don't live in a building like that. We live in quite a nice looking apartment, just to be said. 
although the neighbours are bloody noisy. Something you find quite a lot of as you're walking around Prague. And I would say the Czech Republic, but the, the, uh, the truth is, because of COVID, we haven't actually been able to uh, travel around very much. Travel around, yeah. So, but you see a lot of graffiti like that. Oh, it's gone now. You saw it. It's back there. So this here is actually the same river that we're going to pick up in a little while. We've just got a detour through the houses, and then we pick it up again in about five or ten minutes and it's pretty much follow it to Bohemians. So we've made it to the area known as Michle. We're just going to follow this road round and then pick up the river around the other side. So this is the Bottich River or stream now that we're following. Let's pretty much follow this all the way now into Bohemians, it joins. We're still in Prague 4 here. Can't actually remember where Bohemians is. It's in Versovich, so however you say that. You can see how nice it is along here. Much nicer than the area we're in at Kacharov. But this is the... I keep going on about it, it's the Bottich stream. But, um, yeah, I can't remember where which area of Prague Bohemians is in or which number because I'm not very good at the numbers we live in Prague 4 Prague 1 is where all the tourists go and at the moment with the lockdown it's not really a good idea to go and visit it because of police and things like that checking where people should be where they shouldn't be we're allowed out to exercise so we're not breaking any rules Quite a nice stream. We followed this one quite a long way actually, all the way up into Sabalitsa. And so Bohemians, actually, I remember the area that it's in. I can't remember the number, the Prague number, but it's in Versivitsa. So there you go. And Bohemians Football Club, now known as Bohemians 1905. But I'll give you a little bit of the story about that why and why later. Uh, but it's just up the road actually from Slavia. So if you're into your Czech football, then you'll know Slavia from the Europa League, having just dispatched two British teams in the last two rounds. Yeah, they did they beat Leicester in the last 32 maybe, yeah, the last 32, and then recently a controversial match against Rangers from Scotland where they beat them to get through to the quarterfinals, where they'll play yet another British team actually, Slavia. But this isn't the story of Slavia, so we'll do that another day. This is supposed to be the story of Bohemians. So here we have another one of the local Local art galleries here look with uh, it seems to be a real popular thing in the Czech Republic having these kind of graffiti walls nobody seems to want to clean them which is up to them I guess Another cool feature of Prague actually is all these cycleways and walkways. Quite a lot of marked cycle routes. Some of them run along like this river, the Botic. And there's one big one that runs pretty much the length of the Vltava, which is the main river through the city. Which maybe if you're lucky. Actually, I'm not going to need to show you the Vltava. You can see the Vltava anywhere on YouTube or wherever. 
What you don't see is things like Bohemian Stadium. And that's why you're here, because you're following me on this walk so you can see that stadium. But it's lovely though, it's just a lovely area. Nice area. Follow the river along. And the tram stop up here. This is one of the cool one of the cool things about Prague as well. Another cool thing is the integrated transport system. So you just pay for a pass for a month. Mine's on my phone. And you can just get on and off trams, buses, metro, trains, as much as you want. There's no peak or off peak. It's just one price for the month. And you can start to see over there a little bit of the stadium. See the floodlights through there probably. Oh, this is like, you talk about amazing stadiums of the world. Well, be prepared because this one isn't one. This is like a typical old English, I say English, I know we're in the Czech Republic, but an old European, let's say, an old European football stadium. It's only got a stand one side. In fact, there are bigger non-league clubs in England than there are Bohemians who are in the first division of the Czech League. Right, so be prepared. The tram's just gone past, and this is Bohemians. Bus goes through as well. Really good, actually, for transport links, because you've got a tram stop right outside, which is ironically called Bohemians, and the bus stop as well. So on match day, when there is a match day, which at the moment there isn't, you can quite easily get to the ground. So there's your first view of Bohemians. It's actually set in a really lovely area. Some of the houses or some of the flats on the other side, you'd be able to actually watch the game, I reckon. Because you can see what I mean. That's the one stand. We'll try and get around the other side and see how close we can get. We're not going to be able to get in. But we'll see how close we can get. That's a sign for Michle. So this is another one of the gates you can enter. Ironically, just up the road is, as I said, Slavia. It shares the same road, but this is... Dolcekvitsnyesh Stadium. I have probably just murdered that name, but I don't care. So you can see the big standing area at the end, well, big A standing area at the end of the pitch. But it's a small ground, but it's a nice little European football ground. With, oh, there we go, through the gates, the field of dreams, as it were. It looks like a lovely pitch. They're still playing at the moment. This, uh, every game's televised on O2 Sport here. I don't know whether we're going to get to see much around here, but this is the other side of it, which I think is a little bit of standing. I don't think there's any seating in here. We've seen the main seating area of the stadium, but it shows you what it's like around here. This is the bottom end of Vršovice in Prague 10. There we are. It tells you on the signposts. Prague 10. But I'd love one of those apartments up there. So... Get out on the balcony, watch a game of football. And so the pro teams are still playing at the moment, much like they are across most of Europe. Bohemians are in the top division in the Czech Republic, but they're sort of a lower bottom half of the table sort of side. They're not threatening the European places, and I don't think they're really threatening relegation either. Let's see if I can get my hand above here.
But there is an interesting story about Bohemians. This, like in the Czech Republic, they have this kind of, uh, historically, who takes on the history of a former football club. Well, this Bohemians isn't the original Bohemians. Um, they split from the original Bohemians, which used to be a multi-sport club. And so the football side decided to go it alone. And this is why it's now Bohemians 1905. So the Bohemians that actually carries the Bohemians history are known as Bohemians Praha, who I don't actually know whether they're still playing or not anyway, but they, they just became part of the uh, Bohemian Sports Club and play in a different place, a different stadium. Oh, you can see them working on the pitch. They do keep it quite nice by the looks of it, lovely pitch. It is a club with a bit of history actually. Um, that history, I have no idea what it is. As I'm recording this, I will later when you get to see it. It was kind of done as a last minute thing today, kind of like, oh yeah, we'll go and shoot a video. I've been talking about it for a long time. And there's the main stand. I think with any city, especially a city with multiple clubs, the first club you go and, you go and see is the club then that you support for life sort of thing. So the gate's open, but I'm not gonna, not gonna push my luck bar at the back, back of the stadium. I'm sure that stadium bounces when the fans are in.